and welcome back again to www.balsafety.com and www.balsecurity.com. That's B-A-L spelled B-I-E-O-S safety.com. I'm Candy Perry and I'm here again to tell you about a situation that occurred recently with an elderly woman, a senior citizen as a matter of fact, how she was literally taken to the bank. Then I, uh, after I put my money in the bag and I got tired or something, and I said, I want to give my money. I said, give me, hand me my rings back. No, I'm not giving you, bus man. I'm not giving you your money, rings back. You lost. You lost. But I wasn't even thinking because he had lost. He had lost anything. He got my rings. I don't have, nobody has anything to have. But it, I, now I can think. Right. You know, I wasn't thinking clearly. And I, I never dreamed in a million years that I could be taken like that. Never. I thought, you know, I look on TV, it happens to everybody else, but it's not going to happen to me. But it can. Okay. And so, then got my rings, and I'm really upset. And I want my rings back. Then, suit man comes up with the idea. I got, it was $25,000, bus man was asking. He said, uh, suit man, I got money in the bank. Uh, I'll go to my bank. Ma'am, can you drive us? Mistake number two. Driving him to the bank, his bank. He comes out. Ma'am, they would only give me 5000 You think you can go to your bank and get the rest? I said, I'll try. Okay, now here they are both in your car, mm -hmm. and you're driving yeah. them to the bank, yeah. and they have a briefcase that yeah. you have no idea What's what may be in that briefcase. That's right. That's right. <clears throat> okay, continue. And so I went to his bank. He came out. I, they would only give me 5000 Can you go to your bank? My bank had right across the street. I mean, yeah, across the street. But they, they were smart. They wouldn't have let me park in. Wouldn't, there's no such thing as that. They suggested I not park in the parking lot. I parked in another lot. And he walked over to the bank. So when I parked to my bank, I, he, I parked at another uh, parking lot, and I walked over to my bank. Mm -hmm. So when I went in my bank, and they told me, I asked for $20,000, and the lady said, ma'am, we can't give you $25,000, or you can maybe get five here and go to another bank and get five. I said, no, I got to have 20, because the men in my car, they got my rings, all my rings, six and five so, of my so rings. So at this point, you're hysterical and upset and frustrated. Yes, and you're... by the time, I, okay. you know, I, when, I only got hysterical when they wouldn't give me that 20000 But so that was a blessing. Bank. Yes. Okay. That was a blessing in disguise. Thank God for teller, tellers that care. And so she said, that's a scam. Ma'am, that's a scam. We're going to call the cop. I said, yes, call the cop. Call the cop. Mm. And when I, I, and I was so hysterical, I said, call. And I looked around, and they were getting out of my car, tipping away. One, the bus man was, had booked so out of So you there. actually saw them getting out yes, of their car. Yes, And I couldn't do nothing. Okay. And it looked like the police yes. took forever to get there. And they drove away. They had a getaway car. And they, they. They had a. Getaway car, um, prepared a Mercedes Benz, which means that they were probably following watching me. you they were the whole time. Yeah, even from the the time that you oh, were yeah. at the store at, at Lowe's, okay. the getaway car was was there in the parking lot waiting for them because hmm. they thought they were gonna get something right there. No, well, yeah, yeah, they thought they would get money right there and then they have their getaway car. Mm -hmm. But it was a black car. A man saw them at the bank and he said that they almost ran into him. They were getting away. A lady was driving. Okay. And so, um, I thought they would have them because I was right there in the broad daylight at Lowe's where the cameras are. But they, think they, they are con artists. And so I, you know, I was blessed. God, bless, God watched over me that day. And have you ever had anything like this happen to you before? In your never, life? never in my life. Okay, tell me, has that changed you? Oh yes. In what ways has that changed you? Well, it. It, it hasn't changed my love for people and my wanting to help, but it has changed my wanting to help at certain places. I've got to pick my places. The parking lot is no place to help anybody. Places of isolation are no places to help people. When you're on a parking lot, if somebody approaches you, say no. And if they keep on persisting, call, call fire or something uh, to get somebody to help you, or run, run the opposite way. Okay, again, you are 72 years old. You're one of the senior citizens 
of the America. You've been blessed to have blessed. 72 years of life. Oh, yes. You have great help. Now, I understand <clears throat> through some of the research and investigation that I've done on this, on this particular crime situation that you've been involved in, because I, I really want people to be safe on the streets. Um, as president of BAOs and owner of the company, we are trying to work hard to make sure that everybody has an opportunity to protect themselves in every situation. I understand that you had a medical evaluation because certain people, family members or whoever, felt like maybe something was going yeah. on in your mind. And I understand that the doctor gave you a clean bill yes. of perfect sanity <laughs> oh, and yes. that this was a situation that you were just absolutely swindled. Yes, that's can, it. What can you tell some of these senior citizens and unsuspecting people of this particular type of, of crime? What can you tell them? What would you like to share with this audience? Well, I would like to share that it's wonderful to be kind and to help, but on the parking lots and in closed places where you may be alone with someone, flee. Do not help. Uh, tell them to, if it's on the parking lot, tell them to go inside the store and get help. But you can't help everybody and you shouldn't even stop to waste any time with them because they could be swindlers. They are dressed up, some are dressed up in suits with briefcases, and some are just casual. You don't know who it is, but be careful. Watch, be watchful. Watch where, when you come out the store, look around, start looking around. You see people dressed up and look like they are looking for something, or just, just be careful. You can't today be careful enough. Don't talk to strangers. Never, ever let anyone in your car to take them anywhere. Call 911. Viola, thank you very much for sharing this very important, very critical story and situation with us. Thank you for sharing this part of your life because many people need to know what's actually going on with some of our elderly senior citizens. Thank you. You're welcome. For more crime tips and ways to prevent crime happening to your person or your property, please check us out. Check out our crime tips. Ask for our crime tips. www.baosafety.com. That's B I E O S safety.com. And www.baosecurity.com. So, there you have it. Does one ever really recover from being lied to, hustled, swindled, taken advantage of, cheated out of the very things that they were born for? Do you ever really recover? The answer to that is absolutely not. Although there are measures that you can take to protect yourself from ever having this type of situation happen to you again, or ever having this happen even the first time. Check us out at www.baosafety.com or www.baosecurity.com. That's B-A-O-S, B-I-E-O-S, safety.com. Again, thank you for joining us. Look forward to seeing you the next time. Candy Perry, straight from Indianapolis, Indiana.